Right now, they want to repair a logging road with our public funds. This road washed out in five places during the same New Year's storm that brought the landing down on Stafford just across the highway over there. But we can fight the road repair in the courts because it happened after the salvage rider expired. But while all that court stuff is pending, we must defend the forest before it's too late. So please come to base camp to find out about forest defense all over this state, the country, and planet. Right now, our favorite Senator Dianne Feinstein has got a bill, 1028. It's, how, it's, uh, it's the Quincy Library Group Bill, trying to cut 350,000 acres in the northern Sierra, the Plumas, Sierra, and Tahoe forests. It just passed in the House 429 to 1, folks. What does that mean for us when they just keep on trying to destroy our forests under any guise they can? It means that we must go into the woods and defend it ourselves.
address what the number one flaw that you feel is? What's the number one flaw in the agreement between the government and Maxim? Sure. Um, there are there are actually two number one flaws okay. in the agreement. Uh, two poison pills that make the so-called deal between Charles Hurwitz and Diane Feinstein completely unfeasible. The first is that this agreement forced between Max Am and the United States government has to pass both the United States Congress and the California State Legislature. Has anybody here ever tried to get a bill passed through either one of those legislative houses? In a very short period of time, it doesn't happen that way. It can take years to get a piece of legislation through. The second poison pill in the bill is that MaxAm has to have an approved habitat conservation plan, uh, meaning they have to state how they're going to manage all their 200,000 acres before they will relinquish any portion of the headwaters forest. Their proposal is to save the 3,000 acre headwaters grove, a smaller uh, old growth grove, and clear cut the rest of their 200,000 acres. Uh, we're supposed to swallow this without filing a lawsuit against the government in Maxam, and I can assure you that that's not going to happen because if Epic or the Sierra Club decide to file a lawsuit against the Habitat Conservation Plan, the deal is killed as well. And may I say the last pr that the last provision of the, of the deal says that if Epic or the Sierra Club sues Max Sam over the Habitat Conservation Plan, that the United States government is compelled to provide the legal defense for the Max Sam Corporation. And the first element of the deal, the very, very first sentence of the agreement between Charles Hurwitz and Diane Feinstein says, the purpose of this deal is to kill endangered species. It is to provide an exemption to the Endangered Species Act, and that is why this deal is being forged. That is what it says in writing. And that is why this deal is both impossible to pass and unacceptable to swallow. Can they go? Let, let alone for 7,500 acres and not 60,000 acres, which is a far better representation of what Mickey referred to, which is the rhythm of the earth itself, mm -hmm. which we need to adhere to and respect. So you're saying while the agreement tries to be passed in Congress and the state legislature, they can do whatever they want? Maxim has salvage logging exemptions a giant loophole in the Forest Practices Act, and they use that salvage logging exemption to log in virgin old growth, marble murelets, spotted owl, bald eagle habitat, all last year. They're planning on doing it again this year within the 60,000 acre headwaters wilderness complex, and that is why the protest will continue starting uh, September 14th and carrying on right through uh, until the rainy season begins. Are you trying to do a temporary injunction order or anything to stop it? Well, I have to tell you the sad truth that when Epic tried to stop salvage logging by the Max Am Corporation, uh, declaring it a violation of the Endangered Species Act, the federal courts ruled against uh, the Endangered Species Act and allowed Max Am to take out 10% of the virgin old growth every single year, simply on their word of honor that they wouldn't violate the law. The, the salvage exemption requires very little paperwork and requires no approval process whatsoever. It is simply done on the honor system, trusting <coughs> Maxam to cut only dead or dying trees, which we don't, which by the way, we think that dead and dying trees are as important to a virgin forest as the living trees are. But they, they cut living trees in salvage uh, exemptions as well as taking out the dead and dying. Come on, Charles, Ch how can anybody trust Charles Hurwitz, a man who's ripped off a savings and loan, looted two worker pension funds, and bribed the board of directors of the old Pacific Lumber Company in order to facilitate the takeover of, 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 of that once old and honored firm?